here. Viral, uh, got the answer, Viral? Yes. Thank you, Viral. Thank you, Rajiv. Okay, Rajesh, you had a question. Go ahead. Uh, hi, Sankar. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, with the, uh, we have a lot of like structured and unstructured data. So that is the reason we are going with um, Hadoop, correct? Like uh, how to use no, no, the data? No, 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 no. It says all, even if we are having structured data, the amount of data that is increasing, the data sources, structured data sources are increasing. So even with structured data, your IDBMS and data warehouses are having a lot of issues storing and processing the data. And added to it, the semi-structured and unstructured data that is also coming down, we don't have any technology for storing and processing them. So that is why it is snowballing. So huge volumes of data in the form of structured data and no capability to process the semi-structured and unstructured data. That's what makes uh, your Hadoop platform very viable for a, a new kind of a architecture. Make sense, Rajesh? Yeah, um, yeah, you're right. But just for the, I mean, for the everyone, but first, like, we have, like, large data streams right now, okay? And um, we are using, like, Amazon Kinesis or, like, web service, uh, like, uh, uh, where um, all the data from the structured and unstructured data um, is put it into, is extracted and put in the Amazon uh, uh, web cloud service. And then from there it is also sent to Hadoop. And from there it is loaded and sent to the uh, what you call the PI tools. So my question is like everyone like even the Informatica is, is an ETL tool, and even the Hadoop the way it is functionality is like extracting, loading, and transformation. So everything it is done. But as you said, like because of the volume of the data, 